Hey guys, it's El Vanilla, and you are watching Cook That! <laughs> the drag queen cooking show that'll make your balls drop. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that the whole world can get a great big heaping of Salmonella. Happy New Year! We are not going to Times Square this year. We are staying indoors, and I couldn't be happier. Let's get this year over with with a bang. It is about to be 2021. This is the last episode of Cluck That Season 2, 20 episodes. You guys, we have 20 episodes. Huge thank you to all of you guys for continuing to watch, show support, and all of your love for these videos. We have so much fun. Thank you to Eric for filming these for me and prepping and just like he does everything, cleaning everything. He is iconic and a legend and I love him so much. Today we are making a filet mignon with a blue cheese cream sauce, lobster tail, and twice baked potatoes. There might be some veggies on the plate, but honestly, it might just be lemon. I took three washed Russian Russian <laughs> Russian potatoes. This is stupid. I took three washed russet potatoes, pierced them with a fork, rolled them with olive oil and salt, and I baked them in a 375 degree oven for an hour. I cut out the top of the potato, and then I gutted it like a fish. We salted the skin. Don't let it go to waste. Mm -mm -mm. Full of nutrients, potato skin. I wasn't gonna throw that away, and I did, down my gullet. You wanna leave about an eighth of an inch of potato left inside the skin for stability. We have all of our beautiful potato insides. That we're gonna add shit to. All of the measurements will be listed below. We're gonna add a few scoops of sour cream, half a stick unsalted butter, Oh God, bitch, that butter did a trapeze loop-de-loop -loop and said yeet. A few tablespoons of heavy cream. Oh, this isn't healthy. If that's what you guys thought, this is very, very naughty. A little bit of salt, fresh cracked black pepper, garlic powder. I cooked up some bacon and made it extra, extra crispy the way I like it. Right in. About a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and we'll save a little bit for the top, and then some fresh chopped green onions. Take a fork and mash it all up. And then it's as simple as taking your little potato skins, you're taking the mixture, and you are just filling it up to the brim. They are gonna be overflowing and just delicious. Fill it till it can't be filled no more. That's my grinder about me. All right, and it'll look something like this. Here are our glorious twice-baked potatoes. They're currently half-baked, so we're gonna throw them in a 375-degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes, or until perfectly heated through. I threw the extra cheese on top, which is just gonna make them nice and cheesy. Like I said, this is not a healthy recipe. Now comes the lobster. I've never touched a lobster, looked at a lobster twice. I know it'll come for money. I'm doing this for the first time on camera, so be patient with me and we'll see how it goes. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's hard. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm gonna take my little kitchen shears and I've been told you just go in. Oh. Oh, and you just cut it. I'm so sorry. Oh God, I'm not made for this. I've never looked at a lobster this close before. Look at the way it moves. It's just beautiful. It's like armor, it's their armor. We're very appreciative of you, lobster. Thank you so much. Push the meat upwards. Yeah, and then you just close the shell up and you just rest the meat right on top like that. I think I did it. <laughs> to sum it up, I cut it down the middle on the top of the tail, separated the meat from the shell, left it attached to the tail, and then I shimmied the meat out of the shell, closed the shell back, and placed the meat on top. Very restaurant, very professional, first time's the charm, and it just looks so beautiful. I must say, for a first time, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. We're gonna make a little butter mixture, which is what's really tempting me to even try the lobster at the end of this video. I have some melted butter. To that, we're adding some minced garlic. 
a little bit of salt because we're using unsalted butter, a touch of cayenne, paprika, and lemon juice. Give this a good mix. Brush this on our beautiful lobster. Oh my god. Make sure to get it in all the nooks and crannies of this lobster. Our lobster is fully buttered and seasoned. You want to do a minute under the broiler per ounce of lobster. So it is four ounces per tail, so we're doing four minutes in the oven. We have our beautiful filet mignon, and I want this to be pepper crusted filet mignon. We know how I love my little pepper, so I am going to grind the shit out of this pepper grinder until these steaks are completely crusted. Add a little bit of salt, pack the pepper in, flip, run the sides, and pick up all the extra pepper on your cutting board. That is it. All right, I have my cast iron skillet with some olive oil set on medium high heat, and we have our filet mignon, and we're just gonna put it in for three minutes on each side. It can be three to five depending on thickness, but mine are pretty thin, and I want it to be about medium, medium rare? Question mark? It depends on who you're cooking for. Sizzle, we love to hear it. In we go. And just leave that undisturbed for three minutes, and then we'll flip it. Oh my god. Whoa, baby. Oh, wow. Look at that crust. Oh my god, the smoke. <laughs> the smoke. Six minutes is up. We're removing our steaks. Look at that crust. Oh my god. Oh, these are gonna be so good. Put them under tin foil and let them rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're gonna do our blue cheese cream sauce for our steak. I'm adding to a saucepan over medium heat, two tablespoons of butter. To your melted butter, add one minced garlic clove and just cook that for about a minute. Now to our butter, we're adding two heaping tablespoons of blue cheese. You can use gorgonzola if you want. They didn't have it at the store, so we're using blue cheese. Once your blue cheese is melted, you're going to add two to three tablespoons of heavy cream, depending on how loose or thick you want the sauce to be. And then salt and pepper to taste. We are about to have a New Year's feast! <laughs> Happy New Year! There you have it, a beautiful fancy surf and turf for your New Year's Eve celebrations. I'm quite impressed, if I do say so myself. The groceries were expensive, but split between three people, the per person price is a lot cheaper than what you would get in the restaurant. I don't even know what to taste first. I'm really nervous to try this. I'm <laughs> nervous I'm gonna have some sort of reaction. I don't know if I'm allergic to shellfish, but we'll find out together. I'm gonna start with the potato. Ooh, that is a big bite. Oh God. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Happy New Year to me. My New Year's resolution is to eat more food. So creamy. And the cheese on the top is nice and crispy. And I did want a little greenery on the plate, so I threw a little broccolini in the oven with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Perfect to brighten up the plate. We have our gorgeous filet mignon with our blue cheese cream sauce. It looks perfectly pink. We got a little bit of sauce on there. That is a perfect steak. And this sauce, holy cow. If you are afraid of blue cheese, I promise you when you cook it down like this, it just is a hint, it's a hint of blue cheese. I am bringing the one and only E. coli in to join me, taste this lobster. Why don't you come on in here, baby? We're together! Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's weird being on this side. It's weird being together on this side. <laughs> I've never had a guest. So tell me what I should taste, because you're from Maryland, right? Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of lobster. We're a bit, we're a little bigger on our crab than our lobster. That's probably more in like New England, like Rhode Island, Maine. They're the lobster experts, okay. but 
We Marylanders, we know our seafood pretty well. Lots of lobster so. rolls, crab, cakes, all of that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Definitely, definitely. <sighs> okay, and what is the texture going to be like? So the texture sometimes is what people maybe don't love about lobster. It's honestly why I kind of like crab more than lobster. I like the flavor a little better, but it is the texture. Um, as long as it's not, if, if it's overcooked, it's going to taste a little probably like rubbery. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it should actually be a pretty tender texture. I Definitely hate rubbery a little, textures. A little more buoyancy than maybe like chicken <laughs> or turkey or something. Okay, but. okay. Eric is the one who films all of my cluck that's for me. He gets the kitchen looking nice and gorgeous. He helps me clean up. So thank you oh, so much. I'm so fun. glad we got to work on this project together. I know, so fun. Lemon on the lobster. <laughs> is it okay? That's really good. That's is really, it? really good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, I taste the, the, the garlic a lot too. Yeah. That's delicious. And there's like the That's paprika really and the, um, mm -hmm. what's the spicy one? What's cayenne? This? Cayenne, yes. Mm -hmm. I am so scared. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. Our Venmo is at the bottom of this video. <laughs> so please send me some money. Especially if I go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. 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 I gotta say, I don't hate it. I don't hate- I fall over dead. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I don't hate it. It really tastes like butter, and it tastes like the seasonings and, and the garlic that we put on it. The texture, like, I'm not crazy about it, but it was not as rubbery as I thought it was going to be. It's quite tender, it's bright, it doesn't taste like the sea or It's not fish super at all. fishy or anything like that, yeah. It doesn't get a moan from me. Ooh, the first, ooh, I know. The first one ever. It first doesn't, non moan. It doesn't get a moan from me. Maybe like, oh. <laughs> but you didn't throw up, so. I didn't throw up, and I'm not dead yet. Thank you so much for yeah. everything on camera and off, and thank you for helping me taste this little lobster. My pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> All right, you guys, this was my fabulous Servant Turf New Year's Feast. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely try these recipes at home. They are easy, they are cheaper than what you can get in a restaurant, and they are delicious. Thank you for coming on this Cluck That Season 2 journey with me. We have more exciting recipes and looks for you to see and try next season. Happy New Year! 2021 has bigger and brighter things on the horizon. Have a very happy and safe new year. You just watched Cluck That with Salmonilla. Bug up. <laughs>